Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's Nemesis. For those of y'all watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, book a session down below. Also, my hour and my 30-minute sessions are half off all through Sunday. So if you need a time that's not listed on the website or a day that's not listed on the website, make sure y'all give me uh, send me an email that way I can get y'all scheduled um, My latest single Love Machine is out on all platforms It is an upbeat pop song It's going to get you moving It is available on all platforms And it's available here on the channel So y'all make sure y'all go leave me some critique Also if you are subscribed Make sure that you hit The notification bell as well That'll alert you that I'm getting videos Because being subscribed is not going to by itself it's not going to let you know when i drop a new video so make sure that you hit the notification bell as well also make sure y'all are hitting the like button the like button is how the next person gets this information so if you haven't liked the video stop it right now and like the video it takes three seconds hit like let's go today i want to talk to y'all about the narcissist makes you forget who you are so they can tell you who they want you to be. Now, we've all been at this stage where we look in the mirror and we don't even recognize who we are anymore. We've been to a point where we laying in the bed with or without them and wondering, how the hell did I get to this point with this person? How did I let myself get so low? It's because you were conditioned and you were groomed to do so. From the very beginning, the narcissist has been conditioning you to act accordingly. They have taught you subconsciously to not complain, to not bring up anything that they do, to not confront them because by doing so, they done gave you the silent treatment. They done went out and cheated. They done lied. They done gaslit you. They done shamed you. They done yelled at you. They done hit you. And all of these things are designed for you to get the understanding that every time you stand up for yourself, you're going to get this result. By human nature, your body and your mind is designed to protect itself from damage, whether it's voluntary or involuntary your body is designed to protect itself case in point your immune system when you get sick your body is designed to fight off diseases when you get a cut your body is designed to heal develop a scab it cleans itself so when you experience these things you subconsciously and it slowly happens that's why you don't see it you subconsciously make the decision that, hey, I don't ever want to go through that situation again. So I need to stop speaking up. I'm going to stop confronting them. I'm going to stop um, telling them that I have a problem with what they're doing. I'm going to stop mentioning to them about that other guy or that other girl or whatever the case is. I got to stop doing that because the backlash, the silent treatment, I can't take that. So I have to protect myself from it. And you do this so many times that it's almost automatic. You don't even know you're doing it anymore. So now years done went by, months done went by, decades even sometimes. And you've been tolerating this behavior and it done went from small to large stuff. So that you don't let so much small stuff slide 
Now the big stuff is second nature as well because you become accustomed to protecting yourself. You become accustomed to not wanting to deal with their consequences, quote unquote consequences. So now you start becoming a shell of what you were because who you were in the beginning, if you had any self-esteem, nine times out of 10, if you had any self-esteem, if you had any self-confidence, if you had things going for yourself, if you believed in yourself, it was harder to manipulate you because it's hard to manipulate a person who has self-confidence. It's hard to uh, manipulate a person who's sure of themselves. It's hard to manipulate a person who knows their worth. So a narcissist is not gonna meet you up here because they can't, they don't have the capability. What they're going to do is bring you down notches until not you're even with them, but until you're under them, till you're below them. And they convince you of this by making you unsure of your own decisions because now you're second guessing yourself because now you think you don't trust your decision making anymore because your decision making is what got you in this situation in the first place so now you don't trust anything you do so now even when it's bad you're questioning are you doing the right thing by getting out that's because you don't believe in yourself anymore you don't believe in your um, your decision making. You don't believe in who you are. You don't believe in your abilities. You don't even believe in religion anymore half the time because you figure how could anything allow me to be caught up into this situation? And it's all a facade. It's all a tactic because they have convinced you not to stand up for yourself. They have convinced you that you're not great. That's why I tell people go no contact because when you're away from them, you start realizing how dope you are again. You start realizing how amazing you really are. You start realizing things about yourself that you once forgot. That's another reason why they keep coming back. The video I spoke on, uh, what was it, yesterday, why they keep coming back. That's a second part to that. They have to keep coming back because they know the longer they are away from you, the more time you have to heal. The more time you have to remember who you are. The more time you have to understand that you don't need them. That's why they'll be with somebody else and still be calling your phone. Because they gotta keep you, they gotta keep you at arm's length. Because they know you over there trying to heal. So they gotta go back and forth and you know put themselves back on your mind so you can't fully heal that's why i tell y'all go no contact there ain't no no uh oh i only talk to them when i feel like it no you don't need to be talking to them at all especially if you ain't got kids y'all shouldn't be saying shit to each other these individuals win by making you forget who you are because you get to feeling sorry for them. You get to feeling bad about yourself. You get to doubt yourself. You get to attaching yourself to their misery. You get to attaching yourself to their outcome, not realizing that outcome ain't got shit to do with you. Stop letting these people convince you that you're not worth it. You're spending too much time with them get rid of them stop going out on dates with them stop uh hooking up with them stop using them for booty calls you need to completely disengage and i, I it's crazy because people are like okay well now i'm only using them for sex purposes nope there's already an attachment and emotional connection there that's only going to keep it going you can live in denial all you want to oh we just mess around it ain't nothing serious no more i know where to put them or whatever once you got that emotional connection and it has not been broken there's no reducing it there's no diet emotion there is no um diet connection or nothing like that you have to completely disengage from them family friends them kids nieces nephew all that shit they got to go if you truly want to heal if not stay plugged in 
These folks win by convincing you that you aren't who you really are. And that is the only way they know they can manipulate you is if you're not at full capacity. So they have to devalue you. They have to degrade you. They have to uh, discard you. So you will think that you're not worth what they ain't even worth. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, remember again, my 30 minute sessions and my hour sessions are half off for the rest of the week. If you see a time, if you don't see a time on there that you desire or a day on there that you desire, make sure y'all send me an email. That way I could get you scheduled and we could get you locked in. So make sure y'all send me an email if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, let me know. Um, if you need a talk, if you need a vent, if you need advice custom made and tailor fitted to your situation, tap in with your boy. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is down below in the description. My latest single, Love Machine, it is out on all platforms and it's also available here on the channel as well. So make sure y'all go leave me some critique. Let me know what you think. Share it with a friend. Send it to somebody. Do all that good stuff. I appreciate it. And another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.